had a, sex, a successful sex tape. Oh, whoa, 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 you about to say sex tape. That's what you about to say. I was trying to say success. You see where her head's at. Well, we ended up back in Dave and Booster's. We're gamers for sure. D and I did that the other day, so it's gonna be cool to see what it looks like. Nobody else was here. So it's gonna be cool to see how it looks from the outside. Reload, you gotta do the top. Girl. We saw the Lion King earlier and that was cool. Um, not really. <laughs> I, we'll talk about that when we get home later. They're trying, but all the kids are super duper happy, so that's good. How was it? Were you scared? Yeah. Yeah. Our characters were like looking at each other. Yeah, so we, were, we were the same way. Oh! <laughs> Sundays are for soccer. We're out here at this field. We didn't record a lot of, of Ray Ray's birthday, you know. We really just kind of enjoyed the day but this is going to be a longer episode i know you guys have got short episodes lately as i've been flaring but i got a long episode for y'all this week so don't panic but yeah it was good she was happy she had a good day did you have a good birthday laray you did what's your favorite part winning hickler winning what um is that a game you played with auntie oh yeah my favorite part was the virtual reality part Ah. And winning Hillary. Who's Hillary? My hamster. Oh, you named her Hillary. No, that's what that's her, her name, name is. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was like, what? Go she got a it, hamster Monique. holding Go a donut, it. and she's excited about it. There you had a clutch bed. minion win. It might have been on the secret season, so go check that out. I know Dion vlogged. It got stuck two. on the machine. Maverick and then the TV. girl went inside the claw machine. Yeah, she had to get inside fell. the machine. Yeah, and then she fell on all the stuffed animals. It was crazy. But I would have just stayed in there all night long. I wouldn't care. It would be a new bed for me. Yeah, we had a lot going on, and I was oh, on I got very new bed duty. Set. Ooh, yeah. What kind of bed set? What's the theme? Paris. Paris. Because that's her favorite. Mm. Would you want to go to Paris? Yes. Why? Why do you like Paris? Uh, cause I have a bunch of cool stuff there. Let's go, and like new foods that I could try. Good kick, Val! Yeah, oh. yeah. okay. And there's all kinds of different you know foods that okay. I could try yeah. there. Parisian food? They think the world of this one. You know, Paris is in France. And he, he yes, Paris, like, France. Oh, and, I, and the, he said, who's his brother? Because I say he worked for his brother. Excuse me. Anywho, we'll holler at y'all later. Wouldn't I get a cake if it was my birthday yesterday? Because the other girl got a cake. What girl? I don't know. The girl that was sitting at the table. Well, she probably just ordered it. But it sounded like. I don't know. You didn't ask for cake. What do you mean? I thought they would get me one even, it's my birthday. You don't even eat stuff like that. I, I like cake. I don't like candies. Oh, well, I mean, you don't always eat. When you get cupcakes and things like that from your friends at dance, you always throw them away. So. I always throw the frosting off because sometimes frosting is nasty. Well, my bad. You didn't tell me you wanted some cake. Can I have a cupcake when we get home then? Like yeah, we can go buy a cake today. You oh, want cake. a different kind of cake? cake. You want some cheesecake? No. You want, yeah, well, you want a cheesecake? Like a strawberry yeah. cheesecake? Yeah. Okay, we'll get your strawberry cheesecake today. I'm sorry. We don't really do like parties anymore. We'd rather like travel or spend the money on doing fun stuff with the kids and then spending hundreds of dollars for like other kids to have fun because we're selfish like that. But, and we have a lot of kids. One time I had a side Like the kids party. in our household make up a birthday party, you feel me? So it's intense. All the way, all the way. It gets expensive. So I really want the kids to get better at just like enjoying like experiences and stuff like that. So I try to have them pick something like fun to do. So we're gonna go to an art class on, in August. Yes, and then we're gonna go do an art class. We should look at, we gotta look at that today. She's gotta pick which one she wants to do. Anything else? Um, I went to David Buster's. They know that. Oh, um, 
what else do we do? No, I told them what we did. Oh. I meant, do you have like anything else to say? Um, Besides making it seem like you were like a mistreated stepchild on your birthday because you didn't ask for cake. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I got soap from my dad's drink yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why did he put the drink down and it would flop? <laughs> Spilled it on you? Yes, it went up my, it went down on my pants to my legs, and it got on my shirt. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they already spilled her drink. It was a mess. We were a hot mess convention at dinner last night. Oh, I got, I got the ultimate mac and cheese yesterday. What's in it? They might not know what that is. Bacon and chicken. The bacon tastes a little funky. And it was funky, but well, I mean, it was smothered in mac and cheese. Yeah. So. The chicken probably tastes wasn't gonna so taste like good. breakfast bacon. It like tastes like Alfredo chicken is yummy. That's good. All right, we're gonna get back to this game now. <laughs> B showed up with a guess. I'm sleepy, but I gotta wake up. And I got junk on my shirt, so I gotta change my shirt when we get to the office. Look, I cooked some food for Bianca before we left and didn't realize that I had junk on my shirt. I'm sleepy too. We're at Sonic getting mukbang food. Gotta check this bag. Okay, here. What is this long thing? Just as a surprise, probably? Yeah. Okay, I got one sandwich, two sandwich, one top, one fry, three sandwich, two mozzarella sticks, one chicken tender. You got my fry? I said one fry, one top. Uh, you see a bunch of sauce? A bunch of sauce? Yeah, one of all the sauce. sauce. Oh, there's some sauce in here. Yeah. Okay. Mukbang. I'm gonna have to make a shirt when I get there. Cause we have a bunch of videos to record. I mean, now my shirt's dirty. That's not cute. Who wants a dirty shirt? Not me. Okay. I gotta go. I made a tribute video on Monday. What? Mm -hmm. A tribute video? My sunglasses mm -hmm. are all dirty now. What do you? What? What does that even mean? I was just talking about how much I love her. Like a vlog clip. Wow. I'm okay. an animal lover. It's like a song? No, it's a it's a way of life. I love Linda. And I'm not ashamed about it. That's I don't know how I feel about Dax though. So you just talked about it? You just talked about how much you love her? Yeah, because because they if they've been following for years, they know I don't really like dogs. Right. Like I'm not an animal guy. Right. Like I saw a video of um I forgot I, I don't know what I don't know it was like a deer looking type thing and, oh. uh, and like people are like messing with it throwing things at it and it made me pissed off like I got my angry fist. You gonna join PETA? I don't think I'm gonna be in like a PETA support group, but like I just like animals be chilling, man. Well, not all of them. Here's the thing too, though. Some of those people, them animals don't love us as much as we love them like the ones that rock with us i rock with them back i'll say that okay like these lizards they seem to be chill they don't got no problems with me any animal that just stays in his lane and is chilling i'm chilling but like if i'm chilling and it comes attacks and it attacks me i don't fluff with that animal I'm sure do those would, animals exist i'm sure that would be most people's stance nah i don't know about Peter. Like, Peter is just, just like, like bears. animals they're like animals are better than people. Do is that animals, really what they believe? Do animals? Oh, I just sorry. thought they messed up people's fur coats. Do animals even attack people? Like if we're just chilling, like if I'm just in the woods next to a bear, would it attack me just to attack me? Because like I get is it, like, oh, it's their zone. Don't mess with them. But I should be able to walk through the woods. So if I'm just walking and not like messing with him, what he could attack me. I saw a video of a bear climbing over somebody's balcony on Instagram yesterday. To do what? To attack her? I don't know. 
We did all that bag checking and they didn't give me the right sandwich. They gave us two of what D got. So now we know we gotta like open the whole sandwich, which is awful. What are you about to play? Marvel? Yeah. What does that mean exactly? No, like Marvel. Like what kind of game is it? Like Ultimate Alliance. Ultimate Alliance, the one we played. Oh. So it's a throwback. No, it's a, a, it's three. It's the updated it's version. It's the newest one. Yeah. Oh, Last it's week. just called Marvel now. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Oh, it's I'm Marvel for it. short. Yeah, as a word calling for short. Gotcha. Do you know how to connect controls in this? <clears throat> like one button on here, you used to sync it? Uh, yeah, come on. It's on the Switch? That's right, you told me that. Gotcha, gotcha. Had a sex, a successful sex tape. Sex tape. Whoa, 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 you about to say sex tape. <laughs> About to say. I was trying to say successful. You see where her head's at. A successful. Successful. My eye. Look at my eyeball. It's like just been watering sick? for no reason. I don't know. That's how mine starts. We were recording, and then like my eye just starts. started like bawling. Both eyes are just one. Just this one. That's how it starts. GG. I don't want to be sick. Ooh. This sucks. We had a productive recording time. This is like the saddest part for me because then I get done and then he's not done. So we're going home, but he's got to go in the casita and record. And I just have to go sit and be sad by myself. Yeah. So. You want to know the weird part? Tell me. Not even weird, but this is unique usually. Like, you know, like I enjoy the games we're playing. So like we're about to play GTA to see games I have fun. Mm -hmm. But I don't be just like, itching to play right there's a game that came out the cycle mm -hmm. i'm actually itching to play that it's rare that i'm like itching to play because i play so many games yeah there's an itch for that one so how long do you do everything i do everything probably like three hours Bruh. we're getting good, starbucks though. and we're getting blu-ray strawberry cake doesn't matter if i don't got time for you to do nothing with it success <laughs> I'm trying to make tonight successful. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, tell me why Lorraine is so greedy. So she got a bed set yesterday. She's wanted like a big girl bed set from the teen section. And so we got her one. Why did she take everybody's pillow? She like threw her body pillow down there like there. And took the pillows off of everybody's bed. Left the pillow case like so trifling. Like you don't, she, I bought her two new pillows and she was like, well, the bed set didn't come with pillows. It's not supposed to come with pillows, Lorraine. You're one eight year old little body. You don't need all these pillows. And then she was like, I put the flat sheet on, but I didn't do the curve sheet. Okay, I'll go fix it. <laughs> like little kids. I'm sure Lyric is pumped to have her big sister's body pillow, so. Let Lorraine keep one of these and one of the dressy pillows and then her other junk. She got her little big girl bed. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lorraine. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Um, when Rob rolled them up, and then it made it look like how the bunny looked when he was running with his ears. Oh, wow. It looked like he's in the bed, and he's running with his ears. <laughs> he's like, I'm trying to concentrate, y'all, Mom. I, oh, earlier I forgot to say something to the walls, and I forgot. Oh, wow. If you think about it, let me know. Okay. Wait. Is this just live for us? Yes. <laughs> no, it's oh. just live. It's jazz life. It's okay, not you be, you be easy on my weasel. Is it Maverick with the CD or? With the three. Mommy. Maverick Clips. Mommy. If you don't subscribe to my Maverick Clips channel, I need to add it in my channel's area, but we've got that, so make sure you guys go and search Maverick Clips. It's all about the memories. 
Mommy. You can see old funny fun clips from my family over all of the years of us doing YouTube. Fun trip down memory lane for people that have followed us for a long time and cool way for you to just get to know how silly my family really is if you're new. Mommy, it's the bunny and the dad and he's running. Look at that neck strength. Woo! Can he do tiny dance? Neck strength. Mommy, Mommy do you want yes. to see my lyrics dance? It's yes. the bunny oh. lyrics in the bag and he's running with his ears. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Tesla. You'd get a Tesla? Interesting. You wouldn't rip the money up? Couldn't work at a place where they rip up money because you want a Tesla? Okay. I'm buying a toy with that money. You're funny. Or I could go to mansion. Mansions are cool. Give up on tummy time and just decide to take a nap instead. <laughs> You give up? Are you comfy? So this is my soft blankie. I don't know what you thought this was. So I'm chilling. Chilling. Ooh, see, I did some stuff. I did some stuff with like no substitutions just so I could see what happened. So it just popped up and said, Holly L refunded Simple Truth grapefruit, no sugar added. So it's like she refunded it right away. So I think that's just what I need to do if I just have it on like no substitutions. Yeah, so like the money, cause I paid for it already. It charges my card. And then they just, it's like Grubhub. And so, and then they just bring it. So, but I get, I sign up to get the text alert. So I know when she gets to the store and when she's on her way and when she swaps something out or whatever the case, but that way it's easier because the money goes back on my card. I don't got time for people to be coming up short. <laughs> so it works. I've been having fun ordering groceries, just getting a couple things at a time since I haven't been able to do my bulk shopping because of my flair. I've never played this, so. He's like, try He's like trying to watch. <laughs> You're so cute. Try to watch. We must prepare for the bottle of egg. Monsieur Hawks is here. You will find This is what's going on at my house. And I'm just spitting. You guys want to know something funny? As I was like getting situated to record this clip, I like held the camera up and then was like looking at my surroundings and was like, oh. It's a piece of the pillow. But you can't tell me that didn't like throw you off when I first popped up. You weren't like, what the heck is that? I don't know, it's distracting. Anyways, we're flaring still. There's sunglasses on my head. But I think the flare is like hitting its peak. So all of my symptoms are just full blow. Everything hurts. It hurts to be like holding my phone. It hurts to exist. It hurts to be laying here right now. So I just laid DJ down for a nap. I'm probably gonna try to sleep a little bit cause like, look, I can't even, oh my eyes, ugh. And then like the more pain I'm in, I've, I'm noticing like the darker all this stuff is. It's just weird cause it wasn't like that before I had DJ. 
so I don't know it's just weird um but then I also have this weird joint pain and things are just worse I can't like keep my thoughts together my fibro fog is just bad so it makes me feel like dumb like when I'm talking it's like I was trying to talk to Dion this morning and like I just got emotional and had to like stop because I was just like I just get so f I get frustrated with myself because I'll have to like pause <laughs> like um I'll have to like pause or I'll like stutter like trip over the words that I'm trying to say and usually it happens just when I'm like trying to explain something like even just trying to explain that right now is like a like a, sh a struggle it's weird it's like I'll and I know what I'm trying to say like in my head but then trying to say it just doesn't it just doesn't work and then I get upset and then like I'll stop because it's embarrassing I feel like it just makes me feel dumb um And just like reminds you that like you're sick and like makes me feel like held back in like a way kind of sorta so it's frustrating it's still something that I'm that I'm dealing with I think I've gotten to a place where I can handle like my pain and like you know I can't do anything about my dark circles and things like that but when it comes to like articulating my thoughts it still makes me feel really insecure when I'm flaring and stuff which is why usually I try not to vlog as much and things like that but it's jazz life it's just part of what's going on and that's just gotta be okay so I probably should have rested yesterday and I didn't so we're gonna rest today and hopefully it helps my husband is preaching at a youth conference at our church tomorrow and I really want to be able to make that without being miserable so I'm hoping that some rest today will at least help me get to a tolerable point but we'll see yeah Oof. so I managed to get out of bed to get the podcast recorded so woo we're good on that took a week off last week unintentionally but that's just how it ended up i'm glad that's done i think it's gonna be a really good episode so i'm excited words of williams search it love it listen to it so yeah the kids were all passed out all over my bed so i just got them to their beds and now i can go to sleep madden comes out tomorrow so my husband is going to be busy and he's preaching tomorrow at this student conference and Crystal is off for the next three days because she was one of the main people that put the conference together. So it's gonna be a rough, it's gonna be a rough, busy couple of days. So I'm hoping that I feel better tomorrow than I did today. Um, my pain is tolerable right now. It's not like excruciating. I was able to walk and stuff, but like my arms are already sore holding my phone and like my back is hurting, like everything's just kind of like shutting down. It took a lot of energy to go do the podcast, so we'll see. And then my teeth look separating a little bit, but it's not horrible. So hopefully my new aligners come sooner than later. So that's not something that I have to keep worrying about, but I'm gonna try to get some sleep because this baby's gonna be up at one o'clock trying to eat. So I'm gonna go to bed. Hashtag church flow. Hubby is speaking at the youth conference. Tonight's their kickoff night. They asked him to come and speak. So I'm so excited, so proud. Had to represent change. So yeah, I'm excited, but I had to tinkle. So i to let you guys know where I'm at before you just randomly see him speaking. So let's go get this Jesus in our life. You are calling us. You are Thank you.
He's young, he's popular, he's a famous YouTuber. Some of you guys might know oh, him. Might give it away. You ready, bro? I'm sorry, I'm excited to be here. Right. You guys are in for the treat. Alright, let's do it. Check out this video. You guys get loud. Father, we thank you oh so much for all that you are and all that you're doing in our lives. We thank you for your word and that it is truth. Uh, this living and breathing that we can go back to every single day to grow and to build. We thank you for your son Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. And we ask that you would open our, not just our ears, but our hearts today. And that we leave here a little bit better than we came. We love you, thank you, and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Alright, so I miss you guys, man. There's a lot of new faces here, but who, who remembers me? Does anyone remember me? Aw, oh, that's cool. Aw, oh, that makes me happy. So I haven't, really, I haven't been here consistently in like three years. My wife and I used to serve every week, uh, and it was awesome. And the reason we're not here anymore is actually what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Uh, we've gone out and been, and been really trying to push this message of Jesus to the world and, and beyond. And we're going to talk about that. I mean, our biggest uh, YouTube channel that we had just hit a million views. Subscribers. Subscribers. Okay, okay, okay. Subscribers. We appreciate that. <laughs> uh, we've reached over 500 million views from like all over the world. And I don't say that to brag. I just say that to tell you that what I'm going to share with you is really practical. Uh, I, I've met and spoke with people all over the world and tried to share this character of Jesus to them. Uh, and I got a lot of good and you know, had a lot of bad moments. And I've learned a lot. And I want to share that with you guys. But uh, it started with Ben reaching out to me. And Ben knows me pretty well. You know, there's two things that I love. The first thing is I love talking and trying to help people. I don't always assume that I help, but I like to try to help. And then number two, I love talking about God. And so Ben hit me up. He said, yo, you want to try to help people and talk about God? I said, yeah, man, let's do that, Ben. And Ben said, so we've got this conference coming up. And I said, great. Tell me more about the conference. Like, what's it about? I know we're talking about God, but from what angle? He says, well, well the theme, the theme of the conference is, is beyond and I said, ooh, that's, that's, that's powerful, that's magical, beyond. I don't know what it means. Like, like beyond is one of them words where, like, you know what it means, but you don't, like, know what it means. What's beyond me? That's my point. Like, it's beyond. You should just kind of know, right? And if you want to know, like, whether you know something or not, you try to explain it to, to little kids. My girls do this to me all the time, especially my oldest. She will ask me the hardest questions in life. I mean... Again, I've been all over the world, whether it's from high school, college, high-level business meetings. No matter what, the hardest questions I've got in my life have been from my kids. It's not even close. And actually, I want to bring some of you guys up here to help me answer some of these questions I got from my, my oldest daughter. I need like three people. One, two, three. Come on up here. You guys are going to help me answer these beyond the type questions that I've got from my kids. So this, first, this, this, this is actually all in one conversation I had with my oldest daughter. Her name's Lorraine. She's eight now. When we had this combo, she was probably four. We're chilling. We're outside. She looks up. She says, Dad, what's, what's all that up there? There's like the clouds and there's that other stuff. She's like, what is it? I said, oh, baby, that's the sky. And I felt good because, you know, I'm the dad. She doesn't really know things. And I'm the all-wise father and just helping her out. I said, baby, that's the sky. She looked at me, she said, okay, cool, sky. I get that, bet. What's your name? Mia. Mia, you're gonna help me answer the second question my daughter hit me with. Boom, the sky. Do you know what her follow-up question was? She said, dad, why is it blue? I have no idea either, Mia. I said, why is the sky, it's just blue. You should just know, the sky is blue, right? But she's like four. I was like, let me hit her with a big word. Okay. And if you guys get any of these questions right, I got this little gift bag where you can grab something. I've got t-shirts, snacks. Me, I, I tried to stump her, right? I said, huh, she ain't gonna know what this means. So I said, baby, the, the, 
The sky is blue because of the atmosphere. That's a good answer, right? She had a follow-up question. Mia, you, guess what she asked me? What's the atmosphere? <laughs> Works, me, that kind of works. Go ahead and grab something. So, let me go ahead and take a seat. Y'all give a hand for me, man. What's the atmosphere? I was like, so I actually looked it up, right? I was just kind of stumbling. I was like, the atmosphere is what God does up, up there. It's, it's the atmosphere, right? So I kind of looked it up and I said, okay. And I looked at the, at the atmosphere is gases, the envelope, the, the earth, or other planets. You're shaking your head like you knew that already. You knew that? All right. W what's your name? Nathan. Nathan. Y'all are awful. She asked what the atmosphere was, okay? So I told her it was gases that envelope the earth. Guess what she asked him? What are gases, Nathan? Do you know, do you know, what, you know what gas is though, right? Yeah, you know, but you don't know. Explain it. Yeah, I don't, I can't explain it. <laughs> exactly, I couldn't explain it either. I was stressed out. Y'all give a hand for Nathan. Nathan didn't know what gas is. So he to Tell him your name, my guy. Thomas. Thomas. Again, I'm struggling at this point. She asked me, what are gases? I explained it. Actually, I looked it up. I have the definition here somewhere. I'm not even gonna stress you out with it, but gases are like particles and expands, all this weird thing. So she was like, oh, so gases are in the atmosphere. Can you think of the follow-up question? She said, oh, well, daddy, that's cool. Well, what gases are in the atmosphere? Isn't there like carbon dioxide, like all kinds of like... <laughs> we don't know, I just told her some random gases and she finally stopped talking to me. Good job, Thomas. Come on, water? No, yeah, that, yeah, that. Raise your hand if you knew what atmosphere was. Y'all are lying. Y'all know what atmosphere was. Say what? Random facts. Carbon dioxide can kill you, right? And so, and so that's kind of what Beyond was. I was like, okay, man, we're going beyond to infinity and beyond. So I was, I got fired up, but I actually had to look it up myself. And the actual definition for beyond is happening or continuing after a specific time or event. So in other words, if you have some certain kind of expectations, right? Like maybe Pastor Brian says service is gonna end at eight or 8.30. If it goes to nine, it went beyond that. If you're playing a sport and maybe football, there's the bounds, right? You go out of bounds, you go beyond that. So I said, ooh, man, I looked up beyond, beyond's cool, I'm excited. He said, okay, cool, but it gets better. You know, we have this, this verse is kind of like the theme too of, of the conference. I said, okay, shoot me that verse. He texted to me. It was Mark 16, or chapter 16, verse 15. It says, then he said, and this is Jesus talking, go into the world, go everywhere, and announce the message of God's good news to one and all. And depending on what translation you're reading, it might say, go preach the gospel or proclaim the good news. Anytime you hear gospel, that just means good news, okay? And so, but before we kind of get into my main point here, I think it's important that we break down what is the good news. Can anyone tell me what the good news is or the gospel? What was that? Jesus, that, come get a snack, girl. There you go, <laughs> come on. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Now, it, it's, it's a little bit deeper than that. It's a beautiful story that was actually been told over the entire Bible. But if you read the first book, or the first few pages of the Bible, you're in Genesis, and you see this awesome story. And that's really where the good news starts, because you see God, an all-powerful God. And sometimes I think we don't have the right perspective on that. Like, we get it. Like, he's important. He's a big deal. But let's put God into perspective here, right? So you have all of time and space, everything that's everything so the deepest depths of the ocean the highest mountain top and beyond that into outer space every galaxy like that's the universe right and god created that kind of like apple or samsung might make a phone like god isn't the universe he just made it, right so that's that's a powerful being 
to be able to just make everything that we've seen, right? And in the, in the beginning of the Bible, we see this story of that being actually creating us as humans, putting us in the universe, and then wanting to be buddies. Like, that's so cool, something that's so powerful, way, way, way more powerful than us, wants to be our homie, wants to be our friend, wants, to, wants a relationship with us. And we see that at the beginning with the story of Adam and Eve, but then they're kind of at a crossroads and they get to either continue to live how God sees fit and trust his wisdom, or they can trust their own and kind of define good and evil for their own, like are on their own. Does anyone know what decision they made? The wrong one. They, yeah, they, they was like, you know what, we're gonna define good and evil for ourselves. And so when they did that, sin came in. And, and this is the bad news, right? Because when the sin came in, it created a wedge between us and God. And, and the bad news about being separated from God like that is that we're destined for not only death, but an, an eternity away from God. That's very, very, very bad news. And it gets worse because not only is there this, this sever that we created, we don't have the ability to build the bridge and, and, and mend that, right? We can't, we can't pay that price to, to bridge that gap between us and God on our own. So here comes the good news. Like we were just told, Jesus came, died, paid that price for us, and he is now that bridge, okay? And, and that is the good news. So anytime you hear me talking about that or the gospel, that's what we're talking about. Does everyone get that before we move on? All right, perfect. So I'm going to move into my main goal. The reason I'm standing here is I want to help you guys be more effective in your ability to go beyond and reach the world with the gospel, with the good news of Jesus, all right, and that makes sense. We've probably heard it a few times in church. I also briefly want to briefly touch on why, right? That makes like, okay, I get it. I should, you know, share the gospel, be a messenger. Uh, and that's, the, that's really what that verse that I read was getting at when it says, go preach the gospel. It's just saying, be, be, be a messenger for it. And sometimes we're left asking why though. Like, why should I do that for the rest of my summer instead of play more Fortnite? And I want to touch on that for a little bit. And so my first point is that if we're going to be effective in sharing the good news of Jesus, we need to be able to go beyond what we hear. Okay? And if you're taking notes, either in your head or on your phone, that's point number one. We want to be able to go be we need to be able to go beyond what we hear. And what do I mean by that? Uh, what, what are we hearing at school? What are we hearing at work? Uh, what are we hearing on social media? Just the culture, okay? Because we find ourselves in our own little crossroads where we're hearing things. Because I mean, we live in the information age. Everyone has an opinion. We're connected to everything. And so we hear everything that everyone has to say about everything. And we're at this crossroads where we can either listen to what God has to say, just like the garden, and Adam and Eve, we can listen to what God has to say, or we can listen to the world, or what we, or what we have to say. And if we want to be effective at reaching people, we need to be able to go beyond that and say, okay, I hear the noise, I hear the static, but let me get beyond that and hear what God has to say. Now, how do we hear what God has to say on a given topic? That's tough, right? You can pray, that's one thing, but God's given us his word, right? And God's words, so we want to see what God has to say on an issue, we need to make sure that we're in that Bible. And sometimes we get beyond and we, and we block out the haters, but we don't know what to do next. It's because we haven't actually been in God's word and, and got the, the true knowledge on what we should do. Okay, so what's, what's my point number one? We need to go beyond what we hear, what we hear. Number two, and actually, before I go to number two, let me touch on why. And this is, this is so cool, so cool, but I kind of got to go quickly here. When Jesus came and he's bringing this good news, right? It, part of that good news was this new kingdom. He said the kingdom of God. And, and it, and it kind of made sense to people, but they didn't really even get it at the time, kind of like beyond, because they had a certain idea of what a kingdom was. And not and we don't really get that too much today because we don't live in a kingdom. We don't live under a king, right? We have a president and we get to vote and we get, we get a say in kind of what goes on. But in a kingdom, what the king says goes. And back then, if there was a king and he conquered another kingdom, how do you think he did it? He had the horses in the back, he had the swords, they was rolling up, and it was, this was your kingdom, now it's mine, right? 
that's how they were used to seeing this kingdom. And so Jesus comes and he says, hey, I got good news. I'm your new king, bringing this new kingdom of God. And so at this time, Israel is, they're being oppressed by another kingdom. So they're hyped. They're like, okay, Jesus, let's go. Like, come in, slice up all the bad guys, new kingdoms here. But instead, Jesus brought this upside down kingdom. He wasn't cutting anyone up. He was being nice to everyone. He was healing people. He had enemies, but he was being nice to them. And this was just completely radical at the time. It was upside down. And essentially what God did with this new kingdom is he said, I know you have rules on how you live life, on how you do things, but with this new kingdom, we're gonna switch up the rules, okay? And so instead of me being a king that is looking to be served, he actually says that I'm the king here to serve you. And that's so backwards, right? But it's more effective. And it's actually in Mark chapter 10, verse 45, he says, for even the son of God did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Something else that was different about this backwards kingdom is he didn't really make you do anything. You had a choice. Just like we see in the garden, you could serve him and kind of use these backwards rules that didn't necessarily make sense to you at first. Or you could just continue to do your own thing, or you could serve some other kingdom, right? So this was completely radical. And so let's go back to why we should follow these rules that may not even make sense or that may be different than what everyone else is doing. Well, let's remember who's setting these rules. It's God, it's the creator of everything, not just some random person, not creation, not another man or woman. This is like, if you were gonna play a game, you would probably wanna follow the rules of the person that made the game, right? That's a quick little tidbit on why it's so important that we embrace this brand new kingdom, even if it seems a little bit backwards. All right, so point number two. So number one is we wanna be able to go beyond what we hear. Number two is you need to be able to go beyond what you see. Okay, and how do we do this? And really it comes down to your perspective and not just your perspective on situations, but which perspective you trust. Because life is like a maze. Right? When you're in it, it's got high walls and you don't really know which way to go. Sometimes you go this way and you, you reach a roadblock or a dead end and you backtrack and you go this way just to get let down again. And life feels like a maze, just full of disappointments. But what if you had a different perspective, right? From just going in the maze and being blocked and not really knowing which way is the right way. What if you had a top down view? Right again, remember God created the universe or this maze that we call life, he's got a very unique perspective on it. He has the best perspective on it, all right? So he, he has the top-down view, but he also created it, okay? And so we wanna make sure that we're trusting God's perspective and not ours, and we're seeing what God sees versus what we see. Again, we're in the garden, we have this decision. How do we wanna see things, right? Because when we see things for ourselves, sometimes we see skin color, and we see black and white, and that sometimes that leads to racism. One race being better than the other. Or sometimes we see money and we see cars and, and, and all these things that people accumulate and we attach that to our value. And it's like, man, I'm not worth much. I don't, I don't have a car like that. I don't have a house like that. That's how the world see things, sees things. And God, again, with his, his upside down kingdom said, actually none of that's how you should be viewing it. All of us, both the rich, the poor, the black, white, brown, everything, all is made, made in the image of God. And for that reason, you're valuable, not because of what you can buy, not because of what you did. Again, this is, it's, it's game changing, it's brand new rules, but it's given to us by the creator of the game. All right, and this is what gives us our advantage. All right, so number one was what? Go beyond what you hear. Number two is go beyond what you, perfect, perfect. And again, if we wanna know what does God see, how does God see things, all we gotta do is get in his word. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse seven, we actually see, uh, yeah, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, verse seven, it says, for we live by faith, not by sight. That's, that's, that's game changing. That means, yeah, we might see poverty right now all around you, but that doesn't mean how it's, that doesn't mean that's how it's going to end. 
You might be at a roadblock. You might be at, you might feel like you're in the middle of destruction or pain. That's not how we see things in this kingdom. We see things completely different. All right. Moving on to number three. All right. We want to hear. We want to go beyond what we hear. We want to go beyond what we see. Number three, we want to go beyond what we feel. All right. And this is, this is again, so radical. This whole kingdom of God is, and this good news of Jesus has this idea of delayed gratification backed, uh, baked into it. And that's very different than how we live today because we, we're trained and we live in a culture where if you make me mad, you make me feel mad, I just might uppercut you. I might punch you in the face. Or if you hurt me or betray me, I may be looking or seeking to go and get revenge. And what Jesus is saying, he's saying, no, we need to go beyond that. If we really want to reach the world, it's, it's, it's not about how you feel about a certain situation, how it's going to make you feel, or, or how it's going to affect you, but how does it affect your neighbor? How does it affect your enemy? And that's it's completely different than how the world tells us to live. And Jesus was actually teaching once, and he had people come up to him and he said, all right, God, or Jesus, there's a lot of commandments out there. What are the most important ones? Just so, just so we know, we're following the main ones. This is actually in Mark 12, uh, starting at verse 30. He says, well, you want to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbors as yourself. There is no commandments greater than these. And so here we are, we see a kingdom flipped on his head and ran a little bit different. And it's not, he's not saying that you won't be mad. He's not saying that you won't have feelings of sadness or be tempted by greed, lust, anger, or shame. But what he is saying is that you have control and that you can be, uh, that you can move beyond that or past that, right? And you're not dictated by that. Does that make sense? All right. All right, now, who, I want you guys to recap for me, and I'm going to bring out this snack bag. What were the three points that we need to go beyond if we want to be more effective in reaching the world? Right there. What is it? Yep, you. Beyond what we... Oh, oh wait, what, what? One more one, we want to go beyond what we, what we hear. Number two, go beyond what we, yep. And number three, we want to go beyond what we, yeah. Yeah, fit. come on up, come on up, give her a hand. Y'all do me a favor, give, give it up for Alicia one more time. And again, this isn't something that I want you guys to leave with, just thinking that you know, it was a good idea or it sounds good. I want you guys to take time, go through, read through Genesis, read that creation story. And as you read the different parts of the Bible, it should, be a, it should be a mirror for you guys where you see these situations these different Bible characters are in. And you don't just look at it and say, oh, that was a cool story and see how they did it. No, it's a mirror. And you say, hmm, I see how they acted in that situation. And I can see a little bit of me in it. And the Bible works as this awesome mirror that allows you to get better day by day through these amazing stories that we see. All right. And so I want you guys to read. If you're taking notes, we have. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That tells us this, the gospel, the story of Jesus. And you can go back into Genesis and read that very first story on how God, the, an all-powerful and all-loving God, created us for a relationship. And then we kind of messed it up, but he didn't give up on us. All right, He stayed with us. He sent his son Jesus. And he built that bridge to, to, to reclaim what was lost. All right, You guys do me a favor and bow your heads as we start our descent here. You see the the story of the gospel and going out and, and, and taking it beyond and, and reaching the world is awesome. But it's step two. 
right? It's not step one. Before you can take the gospel and, and share it and reach the world, you had first got to accept it and believe it for yourself. And, and that's the opportunity that I want to give you guys today. And I think sometimes we have this, this idea that, you know, church and, and this whole God thing is just about following these rules, not doing any of the real bad stuff. As long as I don't smoke crack, I might make it into heaven. That's how a lot of people look at it. And as you see, when Jesus came, that, that wasn't what he was saying at all. Of course, there's, there's amazing things waiting for us in eternity, but he wants to start today. He wants to come into your life and start changing things from the inside out, have you living this kingdom of God now, reaping the benefits of it now. And so if you're listening and you're saying, man, everything today made, made a whole lot of sense, man. I, I feel like I've been in my own garden where I've tried to do things my own way, even if I knew what God was wanting me to do. I, I just tried to do it on my own, and it hasn't really gotten me anywhere. And I think I want to try something new. I want to try going beyond myself and trusting Jesus in this brand new kingdom and accepting this good news. And so if that's something that you want to do, you want to join this winning team, uh, I'm going to count to three. And when I reach three, I just want you to raise your hand. All right, I'm not going to call you out or make you answer any questions. Nothing to embarrass you. I just want to see who I'm praying for. All right, so one, two, three. Raise your hand. Keep it up, nice and high. Don't be ashamed. I see those. All right, you can put your head down. All right, maybe you didn't raise your hand. Maybe you've already made that decision. I want you to repeat after me in this prayer. All right, whether you raised your hand or you didn't, I want you to repeat after me with this prayer. Uh, just really proclaiming this decision that you made. All right, and this is in the Bible. This isn't something that I made up. Uh, in Romans, it actually tells us that we, when we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, that's when we're saved. And that's what I want to walk you through now. So repeat after me and say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you. Thank you. For what you did for me. For what you did for me. On the cross. On the cross. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And proclaim with my mouth. And proclaim with my mouth. That you, Jesus. That you, Jesus. Are Lord of my life. Are Lord of my life. So please come in. So please come in. And change me. And change me. From the inside out. From the inside out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, yeah, get up, get up. That's such an awesome decision that you guys made. Uh, if, you, if one of your friends or family made a decision, make sure you're supporting them. Uh, and through the rest of this conference, guys, I want you guys locked in, all right? Don't use this as just a little check. Like, I showed up, all right? I shut my parents up. See, try to get everything you can get out of this conference. Because I truly believe God wants to do something amazing in your life. All right, guys. Love you. Thank you. You guys, give it up for Dion. Give him a round of applause. You did a great job, right? What a great round of that for Dion. Let's go. Come on. All right. All right. So he killed it, of course. Hope y'all learned something and got something out of it. He did. Make sure you tell me in the comments so he can look at it and feel special. Got to get these kids now tired. I can like tell my sickly eyeballs. I can't even like keep my eyes open all the way. It's rough out here y'all. It's rough. Good morning. Hashtag flares all rust. I look a hot mess. I feel awful and I've been crying so pardon my eyeballs. This sucks. Like yesterday was okay. You know after service I was like I was struggling a little bit but then like through the night last night and then like so far today this struggle is so real and like I'm struggling battling like my mental because I'm just in so much pain and I'm so aggravated and I've got this rash on my back I don't know if I even mentioned that I don't know my whole week's a blur if I haven't yet I know I didn't show you so we'll put some pictures up of it right here it's small but it hurts it itches and I don't know where it came from it's just too much. I'm just sick of this. I 
baby's cute though. But I'm sick of this. I had to like do a whole blog post and I usually don't get all like about my illnesses, but I just, I needed to vent. I needed to get it out. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, go do that. Facebook.com slash Jasmine. You got something to say? Do you have something to say? Something to say. So in an attempt to try a new theory, we are going to do autoimmune protocol diet, AIP diet, which goes off the theory that autoimmune diseases are caused by leaky gut. Your gut has been destroyed from all the awful food that you eat and all of the awfulness of it is seeping out into your body and causing inflammation and pain. That's the theory. So it's basically aggressive paleo. It's like the best way I can describe it. So it's probably one of the strictest diets in existence. And you start out with elimination for at least 30 days. And then you slowly reintroduce one item three days at a time. So it's like, I'm going to eat eggs and then see how my body feels for three days before I introduce another new food that my body hasn't had. So because I'm in such an excruciating amount of pain lately, desperate times call for desperate measures. You guys know I've tried many diets over the years. If you followed my family's vlog, you know that, but nothing, you know, nothing's really worked, but I've also not given anything like a whole, whole, whole fair shot. I'll have like a diet as like guidelines and then I'll rear off of it when I need to. But I have pretty good self-control. I just have an attitude. So it's like, if I'm frustrated and I'm already in pain, why not eat some sugar? I'm hurting already anyways. Might as well have something delicious. But then I end up flaring even more and then my stomach is in crazy pain and it's terrible so Madden came out today which means that my husband is going to be super duper busy and because I had to go and be sick and flaring he's like pushing now for me to start this diet because I opened my big mouth so he's going to go get groceries so that we can have more of the type of stuff I can eat so I have more options but I'm not really looking forward to it hopefully it helps and then I get acclimated eventually, but not excited. Take my bag. Baby sister needs a water. No, okay. she can have everything. Oh, I, I want this really shoe. Just two pairs of shoes. That's it. Two pairs of shoes. And what? Well, this is the tiniest do? part in the world. Okay. This I want to These are some cute pajamas. Okay, thanks. Hi, sir. Did you poop? Is there poop in your hiney? Is there poop on your hiney? Do you want this? Sleepy baby, let's change your booty. So I'm still flaring and it sucks. So we're gonna end this episode here and hopefully I'm feeling better by the time I see you guys next week, so. Until then, 